What's going on there folks? Good morning, good afternoon to some out there. It is the Earth Master here on this beautiful Thursday, May 26, 2022 date. Uh, it's about uh, 1022 a.m. California time and the latest quake does show some movement into the Middle America Trench area. Looks like just off the coast of the Costa Rica area. This comes after quite a bit of uptick and movement overnight. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest map here on the USGS side. Showing uh, a couple large quakes happening overnight. And uh, just earlier earlier this morning, a, so we got 7.2 in the South America region around Peru. This one 217 kilometers deep. It's a pretty deep earthquake uh, for this area. Um, South America, if you've known, has been very, very quiet in terms of larger scale movement uh, over the last couple weeks or so. We have seen some deeper activity, but man, this here has just been all too quiet. And uh, I guess I was kind of leading up to that 7.2 uh, that struck in this region. Although I was expecting this to be a little bit further south into the uh, Peru Chile Trench here, uh, not quite as far up north. Uh, so yeah, that one kicked off earlier, earlier this morning when I, I was sleeping, obviously. And then just a little bit ago, we had a 6.4 earthquake come into the Loyalty Islands area uh, with some further adjustment here to the west. That one's striking uh, just to the southeast of Fiji, pretty shallow at about 10 kilometers uh, for that 6.4. Either way, it's pretty large uptick in movement um, within a short amount of time. The activity that we were looking at here on the Earthquake 3D globe shows some a uh, little bit of uptick along the Middle America Trench from about Guatemala or Southern Mexico uh, through the Middle America Trench down to about Costa Rica. Uh, the USGS showing a couple fours and fives kicking up there in that reason, region. And this activity, uh, here's the train. Uh, looks like some of it was prior to the 7.2 and also uh, a little bit uh, afterwards. Uh, actually, that 5.1 looks like it was much further south. So that's kind of... See, here's the other thing that we've got to watch down here. Um, this area down here, Santiago, Chile area, has been... Uh, I think this has been more quieter in terms of earthquake activity than this area up north here. Uh, we've seen a lot of deep movement into the Peru-Chile Trench up north. But uh, only minimal, very minimal adjustment down here. So let's see, uh, with this little earthquake here kicking up after that 7.2, kind of got me thinking maybe um, it could be leading up to something much bigger than a 7.2 in this area. Going to have to watch out pretty closely. Uh, let's go back to the last seven days of magnitudes. And I'll show you guys the activity here. Not There's not a whole lot. Uh, for a major plate boundary, there's really not a whole lot of movement. We did see the majority of this quake activity super deep into the region. And it looks like the majority of it is south of the 7.2 that struck uh, early this morning. But uh, I haven't seen any aftershock sequences here following that 7.2. Uh, I'm sure there is some. USGS not showing it here on the map. Uh, we can look at... Uh, the EMSC model, I was just checking out the um, Tsunami Warning Center here on those two earthquakes. Doesn't look like any was produced. Just a uh, informational statement that kicked up following uh, those two large earthquakes. As far as the EMSC model goes on the South America region, kind of want to zoom in here to the area of interest and see what we got for uh, activity. There's 7.2. Yeah, I don't. There's not a whole lot going on there for uh, aftershock sequences. There. Look at that. That's kind of crazy. So, uh, I still think definitely we need to watch that area south along the uh, Peru Chile Trench. All right, let's go uh, back here, back out. Uh, so we got those two large earthquakes kicking up uh, with some subsequent movement. Uh, like I mentioned, up here around the Middle America Trench. Go ahead and check out West Coast activity. See if we got anything kicking up here. If anything's uh, ramping up. Looks like a little activity in the red circles indicating some re uh, earthquake activity recently within the last hour. 
2.3 just off of the San Jacinto fault zone at about 15 kilometers and uh, looks like the Ridgecrest area had a little swarming kicking up here just north of the Garlock fault structure uh, overnight and some movement kicking up once again around the Long Valley super volcano so starting to fill up a little bit here in terms of uh, magnet or uh, multitudes of quakes in that area uh, around the Pyramid Lake region, I believe the majority of this is from uh, yesterday. It looks like we may have had one or two more earthquakes in the mix there of that earthquake swarm. Also low activity up north here around the uh, Bonham Ranch fault zone. Never heard of that one. Of course, Nevada is filled with quite a few of them. Uh, this earthquake here just north of the swarming about 20 miles or so uh let's see what else we got as far as northern california goes uh pretty quiet we got one earthquake being reported into the petrolia area pretty shallow 2.5 that one kicking up late last night and some scattered activity throughout washington and into the uh, inner mountain uh, west regions texas Oklahoma all a little spotty in terms of earthquake activity. Of course, we did have some movement off the coast of the BC Vancouver Island ranges last night. Uh, we'll check out the earthquake scan map here in just a little bit. I'm going to go over here to Hawaii and see if we got any changes going on following all this large scale movement this morning. Uh, looks like not a whole lot. Looks, um, looks pretty typical 2.1 into the region of the southeast area of the big island no major noted earthquakes on the map well let's see what we got here yeah 6.4 like I said that one just came in just a short time ago at the 1537 UTC times so about an hour and a half almost two hours ago for that quake we haven't seen any further adjustment here in the region to the west uh, but I still think that's very possible considering uh, this deeper large-scale movement over here and also now this six-pointer that we just seen. Uh, prior to that, of course, this area has been under the gun in terms of deep earthquake movement. Um, looks like uh, earlier, uh, late last night actually, early this morning, a 4.9 struck here in the Fiji Islands area at 386 kilometers. A little spotty activity throughout Papua New Guinea and up around the Philippines. So uh, we'll watch it and see how it goes today. Not a whole lot of westward movement throughout the rest of the world. Uh, the South Atlantic Ocean up to the north, pretty quiet. Nothing showing up here on the northern end of the map. Of course, can't even really see um, too much of it up there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Let's go ahead and check out Yellowstone. See if we got any adjustment going on there. There is the uh, a pretty powerful 7.2 that struck um, into the area of the uh, South America region. Let me show you guys. Give you the uh, timestamps here. 7.2 in Peru. 12:02 UTC time. So we go to uh, a map here and we check out the map. 12. Looks like it's going to be around 12.02. Of course, it's got to remember this is going to be the, uh, uh, some of the, well, you definitely see the P waves kicking up and also the S waves here a long distance away from Peru here in Yellowstone National Park. Pretty powerful signature that did show up across the region, but note uh, some of these stations not showing even a blip of that signature, which, um, tells me there that they're uh, pretty well toned down I believe they should be able to pick up some type of signature most of the seismograph stations do uh, regardless if they're you know vertical or horizontal monitoring stations there's always a frequency put out from these uh, powerful earthquakes um, and uh, some of them definitely not picking up anything the majority are but some like I mentioned here uh, this one barely picked it up all right, let's see. As far as localized earthquake activity, not a whole lot going on out there, folks. Doesn't look like it is like these uh, frequency waves have affected or vibration waves have affected Yellowstone at all in terms of creating any type of swarming. 
A lot of times we do see that. Although right here looks like on this station possibly uh, may have kicked up a little bit of microquake activity in the area uh, down there towards the southern part of the park. Here's the trimmer activity from last night. Of course, uh, per quite a buildup of trimmer along the Cascadia. 592 epicenters yesterday uh, with a total tally of, uh, oh, I can't remember what it was, uh, over 6,000 since about May 1st of this year. Quite a bit of trimmer. We'll check out check out the uh, activity tonight and see how it looks. Uh, checking out the Mount St. Helens area. Looks like they reported finally one earthquake here after 10 days. I told you folks about one earthquake out of every. Seems like one earthquake out of 50 now. They report. Check out the seismograph. They got that at a point four. Uh, at 1817 UTC time. So we'll check it out here in a second. See what we got. I'm switching to the hardcore caffeine today. Gonna skip coffee. I try to skip coffee a little bit and then maybe have an energy drink or two uh, in between those days I'm skipping. So I'm gonna go with that today. All right, there is the 7.2 and the S waves. We've got some P waves right here. The original signature followed up by the uh, vibrational frequencies that can last for, well, as you can see it here, almost a couple hours. And there is the 6. Point, uh, what was that? 6.4 down there in the uh, Loyalty Islands area, right? 6.4. Note that uh, showing up here as well with some further S waves. So the earth uh, definitely kicking up a little bit here in terms of uh, vibrational frequencies traveling through the surface. Okay, so that earthquake we we're looking at, uh, let me go back over here and see where that was. I can't remember exactly what it was, 13, 14? 1817. 1817 right there. So let's go ahead and Wait a minute, that's gonna be local time. We want UTC time. Notice that, they switched it up a little bit. Unless it's always been like that, maybe not. Uh, UTC time is gonna be 0117. 0117, looks like that's gonna be, uh, looks like it should be this one, but then again, there's a couple other ones in here as well. And a couple following that uh, 0117 time frame. Uh, that they have noted on here. That's local time. 0117, huh? And that's just a very super small quake, 0.4. I kind of find that hard to believe. That, uh... I think it... I don't know. Maybe that's a little bit closer here to the 0120 time frame. I think it may be one of these little ones. I'm kind of skipping these other bigger ones. Uh, let's check out the previous day. Yeah, there's that uh, all that activity as well. Kicking up. So like I said, one out of 50, maybe they want to report, but it is. Somebody said to say, don't, don't say it is what it is because that's kind of killing the subject. Well, there's nothing I can really do about it. The only thing I can do is email these folks and, uh, and find out why they're not reporting all this earthquake activity. But technically, it is what it is because um, I don't have control of, of the notification or the reporting agencies here. Uh, the only thing I can do is definitely report it uh, here on this channel and go from there. But far as, um, you know, making them put a notification out for earthquakes that are occurring, I can't do nothing about it. Uh, let's check out the Newberry Volcano since that thing was kind of a little active. In terms of earthquake activity over the past couple days. And it uh, looks pretty quiet today. But again, note note the instrument reading how it looks pretty efficient, right? Because it is picking up the 7.2 there in South America. And also the 6.4 in the S waves traveling through the globe and across the globe, through the surface. Uh, for a good hour or two 
on each of these earthquakes that struck this morning, but no earthquake activity to report. Maybe a little spiky one, just a little bitty one. Um, aside from that, looks like uh, activity at the Newberry Volcano is quiet at the moment. Earthquakes Canada. Uh, this area was seeing a little bit of swarming here kick up around the northern end of the uh, plate boundary just shy of the Cascadia subduction zone overnight or yesterday I should say since then uh, today's activity very minimal only a small little amount of uh, after or not aftershock but uh, microquake activity outside of the village of Queen Charlotte BC region so things kind of tapering off there in that department solar weather activity we'll jump into that real quick and see what we got not a whole lot going on as far as flaring goes we did have a couple more sea flares overnight aside from that uh, things kind of minimal never did reach KP index of uh, looks like these guys are forecasting later uh, today three to four uh, on the KP index here today and tomorrow but I don't even know if we're gonna get that could be coming from a uh, coronal hole that was facing us in days past but uh, does kind of have a southward tilt on the plane of the earth sun level so uh, I don't know if that will even affect us at all but they did issue that kind of three to four elevated index for some storming solar flare activity kind of uh, man it's just a couple new sunspots developing maybe 2000 or uh, 3023 3024 will give us something as they continue to evolve and expand but uh, right now we're just kind of at some minimal levels and uh, we'll keep an eye on it and see how things go over the coming days folks so all right I'm gonna bounce out of here just uh, stay alert be prepared uh, a whole lot of activity kicking up here overnight uh, and if you notice it most of it there all the large-scale movement south of the equator a lot of adjustment going on uh, with only very minimal activity up here north throughout the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire in this area all right guys have a good day we will chat to you a little bit later tonight with the uh, nightly update stay safe everyone peace out